Since opening in millennium year, the London Eye has become one of the capital's most popular tourist attractions. As you can see, it's a fantastic place to see London. And although the skyline has changed considerably since the 18th century, some of these landmarks would have been familiar to the subject of today's great music show. A German born in 1685 who later became a British national and whose music's been heard at every coronation since 1727. Now, before I tell you his name, here's a quick question for you. Which piece of music has raised more money for charity than any other? It's a favourite of choral societies across Britain and is as much a part of Christmas as turkey and snowmen. The composer, George Frederick Handel, the piece, Messiah. Music so good that when King George II heard it, he stood up. We've been doing the same ever since. On today's great music show, we'll be featuring some of the best bits from Messiah, one of the most inspirational pieces of music ever written. Now, I've got two fantastic performances for you. You've just heard the English concert and choir conducted by Trevor Pinnock. Later on in the programme, a recording made in Dublin to mark the 250th anniversary of its premiere there in 1741. Also coming up, I'll be looking at why this great German, described by Beethoven, no less, as the greatest composer who ever lived, ended up in London's Mayfair, how the British took him to their hearts, so much so that he was buried in Westminster Abbey alongside Charles Dickens, William Shakespeare and Sir Isaac Newton. And I'll be telling you what links Handel with American rock legend Jimi Hendrix. Messiah has been a favourite of choral societies across the UK for the past couple of hundred years. You're pretty much guaranteed to find a performance somewhere near you every Christmas. We dropped in on the Swansea Bach Choir during their rehearsals last December. It's accessible to so many people. Everybody listening to it will get something out of it because it's got so many emotions, if you like, portrayed in it. It lends itself to numbers of different kinds of performances. You can do it with small choirs, big choirs large ensembles, small ensembles, different ways of playing and still the music comes through. There's a lot of drama in it, um, great choruses, great solo work. It's just an all-round uh, fantastic piece of music. Handel's Messiah is an oratorio as far as he was concerned, a religious opera. It tells the story of Jesus' life. Now, it's over two hours long, so I can only treat you to some of my favourite bits, like this one, from part one of Messiah. It's Every Valley.
The beautiful tenor solo, Every Valley, sung by Adrian Thompson in a performance from Dublin that marked the 250th anniversary of the premiere of the piece. The 16 choir and orchestra were conducted by Harry Christophers. Handel wrote Messiah here at his Brook Street home in the heart of London's Mayfair. This is where he lived from 1723 until he died in 1759. It's where he composed some of his greatest pieces of music, including Zadok the Priest, the music for the Royal Fireworks. Now then, here's a bit of music trivia for you. Jimi Hendrix, legendary rock guitarist, lived next door during the 1960s. I think they'd have made a lovely neighbours. Today, 25 Brook Street is the Handel House Museum. Inside, it's been faithfully restored to the early Georgian interiors Handel would have known. It's a fitting celebration of the life and times of this great 18th century composer. If you're interested in visiting, it's open every day except Mondays and bank holidays. And they also have busy calendar of live performances. It was in this room that Handel wrote Messiah in 1741. Being here really brings the music alive. One of the really amazing things about Handel was the speed at which he wrote his music. Unbelievably, it took him just three weeks to write Messiah. That's over two hours of music, and not just any music.